Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Normally this video would have been up, but I'm actually kind of glad I waited because we just got a whole lot of new info. We are doing an August full spoilers video for the BoxyCharm base and premium boxes. This includes the choice items, this includes some brand spoilers, this includes some very specific products. I'm, I'm really excited for this because there's a lot of info here. And normally when I would have posted this earlier in the month, half of this information wouldn't have been here. So I'm really happy I waited so we can do all of it in one video. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe because I upload every other day and that'll be the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you want to jump into some BoxyCharm spoilers for August, all of them in one place, stay tuned. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is jump into the choice items. I know a lot of you have already made your choice selections, but I do want to take you through the products in a little bit more in depth. So not only do you know what you might be getting, but for those of you who might not have gotten your choices, you can at least understand what's coming. So starting with the base box choice items, there's the Lava Beauty Flirty Lash Set. It is an applicator, a lash glue, and a pair of lashes. Now, I'm going to be honest, I prefer a lash applicator like this. This one is the Tardis from Tarte. I like that you can come in from the side. The one that's coming here, you got to kind of go in like this. And I don't love applicators like this. I like to be able to see what I'm doing. But the lash style itself does look very pretty. That is going to be a $54 retail value going up against the Dr. Lily Fan Probiotic Lash Enhancer, which retails for $68. Now, I have been using the Grande Lash Cosmetics Lash Serum for years. I mean, obviously, I have falsies on today, but I love the Lash Serum from Grande Lash. So I will not be going to anything new, so I, I really would not be interested in a lash serum because, again, I'm very happy with the one I already have. That being said, there are also two items that are complexion. One from Pure Lees, it is the Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream with SPF 40. It comes in 11 different shades. I like a uh, tinted moisturizer. I haven't really found a BB cream I like, so I'd be interested in trying this one. And the last item is the Ultimate Bronzing Powder from Iconic London. It comes in six shades. Now, I know it is the least, I'm sorry, the least expensive option, the most affordable, at $35, but the Iconic London bronzer is probably where I'm the most excited. Lashes are lashes, and I don't love the applicator. I don't need a lash serum, and from the BB cream standpoint, I'd be happy to try the Pure Leaves, but I think I would want the Iconic, Lon Iconic London a little bit more. I love a good bronzer, but I've yet to find one that I am so head over heels in love with that it becomes my hands down staple. And I'm on the hunt for a new bronzer, so that is probably going to be my number one pick. Next, I'm going to go into the additional spoilers from the base box before I go into premium. Now, there was a little Twitter post that BoxyCharm put up asking, how would we like to see the brand Truly Beauty in Boxy next month? And obviously that means that Truly is coming to BoxyCharm, but the brand actually commented and said, word for word, we will be on it with our Pineapple Haze CBD Lip Butter, which I will put right up on the screen. Now, just by looking at it, it's intriguing to look at. It is a pineapple, mango, jojoba oil, and vitamin E lip butter. So it's going to be very hydrating and nourishing for the lips. Vegan, high-performing, animal, and cruelty-free, made in the U.S. with global ingredients. It is whipped. So it is one fluid ounce by volume, but it is 0.3 ounces by weight. That's an important distinction because when you whip things, it, you know, air gets in there and it becomes a little bit, you know, it'll fill more volume area, but it will weigh less. So it's not a very large amount, even though it's going to be in a one ounce large tube. So it's going to look like the amount of foundation you would get in a foundation bottle. But, you know, when you melt it down, it would be much smaller. Still excited to look at it. I haven't really found or tried many CBD products. They're not really things that excite me as an ingredient. Um, but they do have a lot of great anti-inflammatory, hydrating, and nourishing properties. So I would be happy to give this one a try. Moving on to the biggest spoiler announcement that has come, and then I'm going to go into the premium box. We got a tweet about Rare Beauty coming, and I think that that is an absolute amazing thing. Now, I'm hoping this is an August spoiler, but it does say, how excited would it be to have Rare Beauty in our future box? We just had the July takeover box from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and because they're showing such an abundance of products... I'm hoping that maybe it's a Rare Beauty takeover box in an upcoming premium, but who knows? That could be anything. 
However, at the very least, I would love to get some Rare Beauty products. You know I love my Rare Beauty lip gloss. I'm a huge fan of it. I have a liquid blush from them. I have a liquid shadow. I have a cream blush, like they're in a pot, pot compact, whatever, blush. It's all in the closet. I'll have to break it out and do some more Rare Beauty if that's something you are all interested in. But I, every product I've tried from Rare Beauty I have liked. So really, I would be excited to try anything from the brand. But I'm going to be completely honest, the eyeshadows look the most exciting, so that's what I would be dying to get my hands on. And moving on to the premium spoilers, starting with choice item number one, it was the Fenty Beauty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. I have said this and I will say this again and again and again, I love mists. They are some of my favorite products to get in boxes. I probably have like eight or nine mists in front of me at any given time. I just love them and I'm really happy with what they do. I just, you know, a, get a little refresh of the face throughout filming or when I'm out and about. I love mists, so I would be happy to get this. But it is going up against the Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. That is a moisturizer from the Huda Beauty line, Wishful. I, I feel like I would like the Dewy Spray more because, I mean, I have a million moisturizers and do I really need another one? But I also have a million mists, so I don't need another one there either. So this is one of those times where I would probably select Choose For Me and let BoxyCharm make the decision what to send me because I would be happy with either, but I don't think I could honestly make the choice and not have some form of remorse. So I'd rather them just pick for me and whatever happens, happens. And the second choice item was one of several products. Four, I'm sorry, five from Vesca Beauty and the House Labs Glam Attack Liquid Shimmer Powder. Now the glam shadows I have used in the past, I have three of them and they are beautiful glitters for the eyes. They are definitely a dry to a powder, so I like to apply them and pat them out with my finger. It comes in nine different shades and they are absolutely stunning, but that is going up against a cream shadow, a glowing highlighter, a soft matte bronzing powder, a lip oil, and a radiance primer. So of all of the items there, I've already mentioned that I'm kind of in the market for a new bronzer, so I feel like I would want the bronzer. But the House Lab shimmers are so beautiful that I could do some mean eye looks with that product. So I'm kind of torn, and because I haven't used the brand, I'm not super familiar with them enough to know I want this product or I don't want that. I will say, with full transparency, the Radiant Skin Primer and Luminizer, probably not interested in the Cream Shadow. I don't love cream shadows. I like liquid glitters, and I like powder shadows. And if I had to pick between that and the House Labs, I'd go House Labs. The Luminizing Glow Highlighting Powder, I love a good highlighter, I could always use a new one. Lip oils, nice and nourishing with a little bit of glow. So I would probably have narrowed it down to three. The Soft Matte Bronzing Powder, the Stargaze uh, Luminizing Glow Highlighting Powder, and the Lush Glow Creamy Lip Oil. But I don't know if I would like really be able to tell which one I want. Again, just like with the other choice, none of these are like screaming my name, which I don't know if that's a good sign, which means I kind of like everything, or it's a bad sign that nothing is like shouting from the roof rooftops, oh my god, I need this, I have to have it in my life. Not really sure. But that being said, really, really do love the House Lab Shadow, so I would be happy to get that in the box. I just already have a few, so do I really need more of them? Either way, I'm going to bust out mine so that I can use them for an upcoming tutorial so you guys can see how I would apply that with a powder just to kind of, you know, showcase how to use the product. So now that we've got that out of the way, what are you the most excited to get your hands on for August? There's a lot of products we spoke about today. This might be one of the most product-centric spoiler videos we've done in a while where I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 products and a brand reveal. That's quite a bit. Let me know your thoughts down below, as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!